All right, time now is about to be 745 on this Monday, working to build a more inclusive San Diego. And this weekend, they are racing to do it, and they want you to join them. This morning, Brian LaRose, John Mitchell, and Tim Robertson are here to talk about the race for autism at Balboa Park. It's a round table. Good morning to you guys. Happy Monday. Morning. Good morning. Thanks. 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 I'm doing well. Thank you for being here. Brian, let's start with you. Um, you are probably thrilled that this event is back in person. What does it mean to you to come together on World Autism Day? Yeah, I mean, it's hard not to smile. Right. Um, I mean, you know, like a lot of things the last couple of years, we did the race virtually. And, and first, I want to say it, that's hard to do. Yeah. And it's hard for the parents and, and those who participate in the race to do. John, I'm sure you did it virtually the last two years like I did. And it takes your own motivation. And I'm really proud of the people who actually did the race the last two years and donated. But in person just brings so much more. I mean, I think as a parent of a child with autism, I think my son's the bravest person on the planet. Absolutely. And so to see him and others come together in one group and for one cause. Also, I tell you, um, it's not just a race. You know, if, if, if first in two forms, um, if it's not your jam to get up early in the morning and run a 5K, <laughs> um, you know, we have a walk, we have dance, we have a re comprehensive resource fair, we have activities for the kids, so you can come out and just participate without actually doing a lot the of race. other options. A lot of other options, and it's just it's a chance to uh, celebrate the autism community and focus on inclusion, and also shine the light on neurodiversity and, and inclusion efforts. And it's also, it also gives you an opportunity to see all the things we're doing to provide for children and young adults in areas like arts and education and classroom and uh, employment opportunities. Absolutely. We're I really think, thrilled. I think what's so fascinating too is one in four children in the U.S. are diagnosed with autism. As a father, I guess, what does this event mean to you? And you kind of touched on that too, you know, having a son. Um, yeah, no, you, I'm glad you said, so one in 44, that's up from one in 54 a year ago. And my, you know, my son's 17, when he got diagnosed 15 years ago, it was one in 125. So wow. in 15 years, that's three times as many kids who need our support, three times as many parents looking for answers, three times as many young adults that we need to provide employment opportunities for in the future. And it probably means in one in 44 that you and others in the studio are, know somebody who's on the Absolutely. spectrum and, and needs that support. That. John Mitchell, let's go to you. Uh, good morning to you. Now, you've been taking part in this race, I guess, since the beginning, uh, since your kids were little. Your son is now attending the National Foundation for Autism Research. Tell us about that. Uh, well, what it is is that it's a program for obviously uh, autistic children and it gives them an opportunity to learn uh, basically hands-on life skills, job skills that they will need later on mm -hmm. in the future. So it, it really brings together uh, a family of children who will definitely need those skills later on in the future and without this type of program they would not have this opportunity going forward so that they can become active members of the community right. and in the workforce. So extremely crucial. Oh very very crucial and it's very good that uh, the National Foundation of Resource is putting this on uh, because there, I don't know if there's actually too many other types of uh, programs out there like and available this. like this for children and young adults who are afflicted with autism. Right. Tim, we have not forgotten about you. <laughs> Good morning to you. Tell us a little bit about how this program, how it's helped you. Well, <clears throat> it's done more than just help me understand how to do the job with the skills, mm -hmm. but it's also helped me with the social skills, the soft skills. Right. Those don't come very natural to me. It's very hard for me to understand that. And the way they've helped me understand how to see what's going on around me, how to build a plan my day out, how to work with others uh, has been a huge benefit, not just for the job too, but for my entire life. I feel like I've become a very, uh, just a good friend, good dad, good in so many ways. Um, and then when it came to the job, I, I was, they helped me get a job with solar turbines as a full-time employee, and I feel oh, nice. important. I can actually help support my family better. Yeah. And I just, I'm so happy that the schools helped me become a better person in life. Well, you're making a difference and you're feeling good, right? Oh, I'm so happy. I feel very important in life now. And that's all that matters. Yes. Awesome. Anything else you gentlemen would like to add before we go? I would just say, look, 100% of the proceeds to, from this race stay right here in San Diego. They've helped over 900 communities and schools with the funds over the last couple of years. And wow. you can get involved by just showing up. There are worse things than showing up in Balboa Park on a beautiful Saturday morning to actually help uh, <laughs> such a great cause. And Fox 5, of course, will have a team as well. Well, thank you, gentlemen. We look forward to seeing you out there. Thank, thank you. All right, you. Thanks, Eric.